Asso Rock is the workplace and official residence of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is made up of offices, conference rooms, and residential apartments for the President and members of his family. It also has offices for the principal aides to the President. It is a massive structure sitting on a large expanse of land with heavy security guarding the premises 24 hours every day. Asorok is located in the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. Within the premises of the villa, there is a chapel, there is a mosque, and there is a restaurant. The idea of building a buffeting workplace and residential quarters for the president and members of his family came with the idea of relocating the federal capital territory of Nigeria from Lagos to Abuja way back as 1976. This was during the regime of General Motala Mohammed, who was Nigeria's military head of state at the time. This may not have been unconnected with the reality that Lagos was over congested and becoming increasingly difficult to expand for purpose of development coupled with the perennial traffic situation in Lagos. There was therefore the need to move the seat of power to a new territory which was to serve as the federal capital territory and the seat of government of Nigeria. Motala Mohammed then set up a panel headed by a renowned jurist, the Honorable Justice Akinola Aguda, with a clear mandate to identify the best suitable and most central location for the building of the new capital territory of Nigeria. The panel went to work and came up with a recommendation for the creation of a federal capital territory in an area considered as central to the country. The present location was thus recommended by the panel. General Motala Mohammed accepted the recommendation and on February 3, 1976, he made a proclamation to that effect. Sadly, Motala Mohammed was not alive to see to the realization of his dream as he was assassinated in Lagos on 13th February, 1976. But the dream of having a new federal capital territory was taken up by successive administrations. Construction work started in Abuja at the beginning of the 1980s. That was during the presidency of Alaji Shagari. One of the significant structures built at the time was Akinola Aguda House, also known for short as Aguda House. Aguda House was originally conceived as a presidential lodge and guest house complex made up of a temporary official residence of the president pending the construction of a permanent residential, presidential residence and guest houses for visiting heads of states. President Shehu Shagari was later overthrown in a palace coup led by Mohamedou Buhari. This overthrow also affected the construction of the FCT. Buhari was also later overthrown by Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida in 1985. It was during Babangida's administration that the FCT witnessed an unprecedented level of construction of roads and public institutions. And one of the memorable institutions constructed by that administration was the Asorok Villa. The villa was constructed by renowned construction giant Julius Beja and same was done on record time of 13 months from October 13, 1989 to November 1st, 1991. President Ibrahim Babangida became the first head of state to occupy the villa when he moved in on December 12, 1991. Upon completion of Asorok Villa, Aguda House became the official residence of the Vice President of the country and has remained so till date. Asorok Villa is also known by some as the Villa, Asorok or State House. The Villa is located close to a popular rock known as Asorok 
hence the description of the seat of power as a sorong villa. The rock, which measures 400 meters in length and about 936 meters above sea level, is the most outstanding feature in Nigeria's capital city, as well as the biggest rock in the FCT of Nigeria. Unlike the American White House and all the residences of presidents of various countries, which are mostly open to the public, Asoro Villa is a highly restricted area, probably for security reasons. Visits to the villa are strictly on appointment, and the visitors are usually subjected to thorough security scrutiny before they can be allowed entry to the villa. The villa is described by some as the most highly protected presidential residence in Africa. The other important fact about the Asorok Villa are how big is the Asorok Villa? The answer is that the particular size of Asorok Villa is not known till date, but the villa is made up of many buildings and a sprawling residence, a sprawling area, which shows how big the villa is. The other question is, who stays in Asorok Villa? The answer is the president is the official resident of the villa. Other dignitaries go to the villa for work and thereafter return to their lodges. For instance, the vice president maintains an office at the villa or lives with his family in a Kinola house. The other question is who owns Asorok Villa? And the answer is the people of Nigeria. Every president whose tenure has ended leaves the villa for the next person. The villa has no known landlord. But surprisingly, rent for the villa is included in several years' budgets, amounting to millions of naira. It is, however, not clear who takes the money as landlord of the property. The other question is who guards the villa? The answer is the villa is guarded round the clock by an elite team of soldiers from the Nigerian army known as Presidential Guards Brigade. They guard the president and his guests and also perform ceremonial duties such as mounting guard of honor to receive visiting heads of states. Since 1991, when the villa was first occupied, the following presidents and heads of state have lived therein. Ibrahim Babangida, Anna Shenekon, Sani Abacha, Abdul Salami Abubakar, Olusha Gunobasenjo, Umaru Musayardwa, Gulok Ebele Jonathan, and Muhammadu Buhari. Asorok remains a precious asset to the government and people of Nigeria.